Leader's Day is officially over. Now we're just cleaning oh. up. <laughs> now I have to do that again. They you done that better. No, well, I have to give them options. Cut, take two. It is 8.30 a.m. We are half an hour away from opening the doors for registration, and we are ready to go. We're expecting approximately 100 leaders to show up here this morning. This is the space where everything is gonna happen today. We're very excited for everything that is to come. Just some last minute details, and then we're ready to go. take a chance to say thank you for coming out and being here today. We are excited for all the things that are planned and all the fun and all the learning and growing and community that's going to happen today. So we're just going to pray and then we're going to jump into the rest of our day. All right. God, we thank you so much for this incredible opportunity we had to all come together. I uh, just pray for open hearts, open minds, for energy, for excitement. I've got Caitlin Kirkwood over here, my partner in crime in Oakville. Caitlin, why do you want to get involved in youth ministry? I've had some incredible small group leaders who have made an insane impact on my life, who've been really cool role models, and so if I have a chance to just be a small fraction of that to somebody else, um, that would be the coolest and most amazing blessing to journey alongside somebody as they figure out what it means to love and to serve Jesus. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. You're so welcome. That, that inspired me. We just finished being inspired by some curriculum chat with Natalie, and now it's time to pass over my vlogging camera to the wonderful Sarah Stanley, because I have to go teach Mentoring 101. All right, take the camera. Here we go. Okay, bye. Look at all these people going to teach breakouts and go to breakouts and be equipped. It really just encourages me to know that there are breakouts happening and that right now there are leaders being equipped uh, to learn what it means to lead a small group really well and to mentor students and to teach junior high on a Sunday morning and um, this is why we're doing today and so it's exciting to see it happening. Everyone's been divided into big teams, uh, three big teams, and each team has to further divide themselves into three sub-teams based on what they think their gifts are. And the beautiful thing about this, on top of having fun, is these are some ideas that youth coordinators can use at all the different sites for Choose Your Own Adventure Nights. Take some ideas, have some fun together. Uh, we're gonna have a good time as leaders, so let's go see how this thing is gonna unfold. I have high hopes. <laughs> All right, Tika, how's it going? Good, we're gonna win. Are you gonna win? Heck yeah! What color are you? Pink! Ah! I thought it would be like, like no one would do it. Yeah, I thought so too. <laughs> outside taking a group photo. A great group of leaders. This is so much fun. The day just continues. Start cheering. Start cheering really loud. Go. So right now we're just spending some time in worship and responding in a way where we're writing out prayers and putting them onto a big tree. And this tree is going to be planted out in Oakville uh, in front of this site here as a reminder of, of all the lives that are being touched uh, in student ministry. You show us yourself. Glimpses. I mean, I know we're so perfect and we mess up and we show each other our sin and our brokenness as well, but I thank you that even though we are messed up people ourselves, you still use us to show each other glimpses of you. You are love, you bring light to the darkness. done leaders day is over we are cleaned up and ready to go home but first we want to share with you some of our highlights mark start it off uh, we bought a tree 
that we are going to plant some, somewhere in the Meeting House property that will represent the underground and us growing together. Linda. Um, I really enjoyed the time of worship that we had together, just having all our youth leaders sharing in that time, worshiping our Lord, and Roxy had a great word of encouragement to us that was really poignant as we head into the year ahead. Yeah. I think for me, it was seeing people come out of breakouts and asking them how it went and just hearing them say it was helpful and that they were taking away things that were going to be um, just practically things that would help them lead and serve better as uh, we launch the year. Well, after a long and full day, I'm finally home and I can't help but think about days like today remind me why I do what I do. I have the honor and privilege to lead an incredible group of youth leaders that get to mentor and spiritually invest into the youth of our community. And I love the team of youth leaders that I get to work with. It's an incredible privilege to lead alongside them and it just reminds me that I love what I do.